Good morning fellow mathematicians. In yesterday's video we were learning how to complete a square and in today's video we are going to use this technique to derive the quadratic formula. So suppose we've got a polynomial f of x and it looks as follows that's ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay and as you might know the quadratic formula gives you the roots of a polynomial of degree 2. So what does it mean to find out the roots? It's finding out the zeros of the function. So this polynomial has to equal zero. Okay. The good thing is there's a zero right here. So we can simplify a bit by dividing everything by a under the condition that a isn't equal to zero. So what we could do now is say that zero equals to x squared plus b over ax plus c over a. And now we can go on and complete the square of this term right here. So completing the square, what does it mean? So that's x plus b over 2a squared, okay, minus b over 2a squared plus c over a. And that's still equal to zero, okay. And now we can bring some stuff to the other side. So we can add this term on both sides and we can subtract this term on both sides. So what we end up with is b over 2a squared plus c over a, oh minus, I'm sorry, equals to x plus b over 2a squared. Okay, what can we do now? Now we can take the square root on both sides, but if we take the square root on this side, it's plus minus the square root because we are talking about a polynomial with degree two. So that means we've got two solutions, two roots. Okay, so if we take the square root, that would mean that x plus b over 2a equals to plus minus the square root of b over 2a squared minus c over a. Okay. And now we only have to subtract this term and then we've got our two solutions for x. So in the end, x, 1 and 2 equals 2 minus b over 2a plus minus the square root of b over 2a minus c over a. And then we are basically done. We can now simplify a bit more. So, sorry, here's a squared. Okay, we can use the square right here. So that would mean that x1 and 2 equals 2 minus b over 2a plus minus the square root of b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Okay, what we can do now, we can expand this fraction right here with 4a over 4a. So that would mean that x1 and 2 is equal to minus b over 2a plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4a times c over 4a squared. Okay, and now we can use the square root on the denominator and we can factor 1 over 4a squared out, um, 1 over the root of 4a squared. So what we end up with is just minus b over 2a plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a because we were taking the square root and now we can bring the denominators together so all in all we end up with this term and this is indeed the quadratic formula. So that was quite simple but once again pretty useful. We are using this a lot to find out the values especially in physics you need this a lot <laughs> when working with parabolas or something. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. And yeah, well, have a fabulous day. See ya.